I really want to thank God for each and every one of us, you know, and what the Lord is doing in your lives individually and my life too. And it is to that that I just want to really honor each and every one of you in your obedience to pray for nations, pray for people, the ecclesias, uh, just to pray for, you know, how the Lord is basically leading you to pray because you are the spirit of liberty and you're liberating a lot of people, a lot of things, you know, from what? From either destruction or from what the enemy intends in the lives of the people and including animals too. <laughs> amen and amen. And so that is why I just want to rejoice with you. You know, I believe I was sharing here a while back that we need to be what? Intentional about playing for planes. Yes, you know, planes, they're part of creation. <laughs> and we thank God, you know, and I was just reading a report this morning just on the basis of, you know, our prayers that we continue to pray for planes. I believe a FedEx plane, you know, uh, skidded off uh, the runway, you know, without the landing gear. Isn't it amazing that the Lord loves those pilots, that he didn't want to see them die? And I believe this happened in, Chatt I think it's Chattanooga, you know, airport in Tennessee. Uh, and that was about two, four, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. So you can see that the Lord is intervening by the prayer that you're praying. Because, you know, I was sharing that the plane was basically, you know, there was a plane that was coming to land. And eventually it just skidded off to the end of the runway. And can you see? But thank God that the passengers survived and the Lord brought about that again so encouraging us to pray before it basically happened you know and we thank God that those pilots are alive and we thank God for what God is doing in their lives because that is a testimony unto Jesus so they might not even know that you're praying for them but look at what your prayer is manifesting in creation so let's continue to pray you know for planes in this hour because the Lord loves those planes he loves the people who basically created them because it was an, an, an idea from the Lord basically and they manifested it in creation and to that is the reason why I want to share once again, as we've been seeing, uh, there is a lot of flood that is happening, you know, on in creation. There was one that happened in Greece and in New York recently, you know, and uh, we continue to see them all across in itself. And, you know, as the wildfires are basically returning, you know, it's a place where the floods are manifesting at the same time. So please let us continue to put the United Kingdom in prayer because, you know, I was just you know, just there in the presence of the Lord. And I began to, I was reminded there was a time, I believe, uh, uh, when uh, David Cameron was in government. Yeah, when David Cameron was in government. And um, what happened was, in 2015, I believe there about, you know, there was a storm that was called the Storm Desmond or whatever it is. And it came against the United Kingdom. And there were so many homes that were that was flooded. And there were so many uh, 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 houses that had to be evacuated that they had to call in the, you know, the army to basically, you know, be, to help out because of what happened at that particular moment. So it's a time, you know, I believe for the United Kingdom and not just for the United Kingdom alone, because this is still manifesting in creation that the floods are coming. Can you see? The floods are coming. Yes, it's already started and it's coming. And it's a place where, you know, United Kingdom, you know, is in a place of preparation at the same time because it is, it is coming. Because I remember just in that time as well, you know, during that period of time or shortly afterwards, there was another one that happened that the high street, you know, the stores were closed because the floods were just entering into the stores. People couldn't even go onto the high street, you know, and, you know, in some other countries, that's what you call the mall. You know, there is a, there is a road where there are just so many shops and it was all flooded because there was a river that was basically running through that and the river overflowed it banks. Can you see that? That itself the river overflowed its banks and it was flooding the streets and this is returning in this hour is happening once again and the Lord has whatever reason he has allowed it but it's a place that as we continue to stay intentionally in a place of prayer the damage is not what is not going to be the damage in cure to this would not be as great because why because of the sonship that we're walking in you know he says whatever you permit on earth is permitted in heaven what 
whatever you do not permit on earth is not permitted in heaven that means you as a son you're able to what you're able to stop it even before it happens and if the lord has allowed it you're able to what limit the damages that it can cause can you see that in itself so uh, united kingdom and the rest of the world you know uh, uh, it's a place you have to be prepared yes you have to be prepared because i shared as well helping us to understand that the plagues are coming the plagues that we saw in the book of exodus they are returning so it's a place but i'm not here about the plagues i'm here about what the flood so in united kingdom just get ready because this is this is what the lord has allowed so i uh, we just pray over the united kingdom in this hour and not just united kingdom alone all these nations that the floods have affected you know it's a place where praying the peace of god that surpasses all understanding to guard the hearts of the people that in this hour the leaders will know exactly what to do to put the provisions in place for the people in this hour that the quickening spirit of the father is causing them to react quickly to turn out quickly you know to be able to help those who are vulnerable we even pray for the elders the least. Oh, the elderly especially the mothers and the babies the babies that are just being born we pray for the mothers we pray for the babies we pray for the elderly the widows and the and the fatherless we pray for them in this hour that the spirit of the living god will rest upon their homes or wherever it is that they're at and i declare the wall of fire not just around united kingdom but around all these nations where this flood is going to manifest i just release the wall of fire all around that he who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all will basically manifest the glory of his abundance over these nations i declare that nobody will die but they will live live to declare the glory of the lord in the land of living i permit no one to die i do not permit anyone to die i do not permit anyone to die so i take authority even over their properties and i thank you for the angels we assign angels over those houses over the lands over the farms over every businesses in this hour that by the authority of the living word that they will not suffer loss i declare it that they will not suffer loss that the glory of the lord will rest upon this this uh, people and their businesses and their homes in the name of jesus amen and amen so please let us continue to pray not just for the united kingdom but also for the rest of the world that in this time as these floods begin to what begin to manifest in greater dimension that the glory of the lord will what will intervene to what to limit the damages that this is going to cause and that then that no one will die in jesus mighty name i love you all so very much i love you so 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 very much God bless you and may he continue to uphold you, be with you and strengthen you in Jesus name. And I bless you all with life. Amen and amen.